Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the microscope. So, you have already prepared your slide, and from you have to do that first. Watch the other video. Now, the microscope has a light in the back over here, so you want to turn the light on, and there's these little metal prong things. I don't know what you call them, little feet, I guess. And you're going to move those off to the side. And you're just going to place your slide right on top of the light source. So your cover slip should go right on top of the little light hole. Okay? So you have three different adjustments right here, this thing that turns. One of them says 4-.1, one of them says, here, I'm trying to turn it here this way, and it's looking like it's going to hit the slide, and you do not want these to hit the slide, because they can break the slide, break the cover slip, and I'm not really sure what damage they could do to these, but probably some. So, this right here is a coarse adjustment knob and you turn it towards you to make this table go down. So you want to make it go all the way down first. Now it's all the way down. I keep turning and it's not moving anymore. So now I can move from setting to setting. So this one is blue and it says 40-0.65 and this one says 10 dash. 0.25. So the red one is, wait, not the red one, no. The yellow one, or green one, yellow, is the one that I've had the most success with, although I've also used the 40, which is blue, and had more success with that sometimes. So it really just depends on, I don't really know what it depends on, but you gotta try everything, I guess. So You'll put your slide in there, and I would suggest starting with the 10, and then, and the 10 is the yellow one, and then moving your course adjustment knob so that you get as close to this thing as possible. So now I keep turning and it won't move up anymore, so that's as far as it's going to go. Um, and then, that's when you can look, this thing moves so you, it doesn't really change anything that you're viewing, just from where, you know, where you're standing is really all it is. So you can cover your eye, or you can just close your eye that you're not using to look. And what you're going to do is use the fine adjustment knob to adjust the... Oh my gosh, I'm not thinking of the word right now. Focus. Adjust the focus. So it's on this side and on the other side. I'm going to use this side because I'm right-handed and I'm going to use my right eye to look. And so you just kind of move it until you start to see something. And if you never start to see something, you can also move your slide around a little bit because the things inside your slide are so small that you might have some over here in the corner but none over here in the middle. So you you kind of got to move it around to see where you can find stuff. So you can also you can also uh, move it with one hand really carefully while you have your other hand covering your eye and then you can just keep adjusting it. Kind of just kind of got to keep trying and adjusting and until you see something. And I, I tried it with the green water, which is the phytoplankton, and I tried it with everything else. And I was able to find stuff. So you just got to keep trying. And hopefully everybody will be able to see something because the little plankton are really neato. Um, I think that's it. So your microscope should already be plugged in. I'm going to turn the light off. And if you are in the afternoon class or second class, I'm going to want you to unplug your microscope 
Mine's down here. Unplug your microscope. Pull the cord out. And you'll either wrap it around like this. Just wrap it around the bottom of the microscope carefully. Oh, you probably want to put these feet back in too. Uh, take your slide off. Woo, it's early. Okay, put your feet back in. Do do do. Kind of wrap the the little cord kind of in there so that the wrapping stays. And then you put this bag over it. And that's it. So the other way that it will be wrapped, the, the cord, is um, with one of these little plastic things. And those, you just you take the cord and it should already be kind of, let me move it back a little bit, it should already be kind of bent. So you just kind of fold it, fold it, fold it. Fold it, fold it, fold it, and then you wrap this thing around all the pieces of cord. And there's a little hole where you slide it through, and you pull, you pull it tight, and pull it tight, and then it'll stay. And so some of them are like that. If you have one of these plastic things, wrap it like this. So that's really technically how it's supposed to be wrapped. And that's it.